Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to add future pinball to your HyperPi PC build. Um, basically just go to the link in the description, you can download the add-on pack. Um, it's, it does not include in any artwork, I just want to point that out from the start. The only artwork included is the menu art snap. So there's the snap for the menu. Uh, within HyperPi PC um, and it also contains configuration file as well as well as future pinball itself uh, I did not include any tables uh, with the add-on pack you'll have to add your tables um, but let's get right into the to the how-to on this so basically go ahead and download the file it's very small um, under 49 megabytes and once you have this zip file, just right click, click extract here. Uh, once it's extracted, you'll just see a hyper PC folder. We're going to take that folder, we're going to cut, we're going to go to the root of our H drive, and we'll paste. Um, I'm not familiar with Future Pinball, um, so. Basically, my goal for this uh, add-on pack was to get it working within HyperPi PC. So if you do have any issues with Future Pinball, um, I, I can't help you. I don't use it. I prefer uh, Pinball FX2. Um, but for anyone that does prefer Future Pinball and you know what you're doing, this is how you'll get it running through uh, HyperPi PC. Um, there's a few steps we're going to do before we launch HyperPi PC and I'll show you that once this is done uh, pasting over to the H drive now again as you know in most of my videos my laptops not the greatest so doing pretty much anything while I'm recording just takes a lot longer than it, that it probably should Okay, so now that we have it all copied over and it's in our Hyper PC folder, we're going to go to Hyper PC, we're going to go to Emulators, and you'll see now you have Future Pinball. We're going to go into Future Pinball, open up Tables. So right now you can add your snaps and your wheels. Again, I did not include any. Um, you'll have to find those online. Um, and let's add a table. So I have one table right now. Uh, it's a zip file. So we'll cut. And I'm just going to paste it in my tables folder. So um, it does not read zip files, so we will have to extract them. So I'm just going to right click, extract here. Yes. Okay, so this extracted five files. Well, the flyer came as well. Um, but you want to use the future pinball table file, FPT file, is going to stay in the tables folder. Your future pinball library files, or FPL files, we're going to want to highlight all of those. Cut. And we're going to go into the libraries folder and paste. So once you have all of your tables added and your artwork added as well, um, which is located in your tables folder, we can launch Future Pinball. And the reason why we launch it outside of HyperPi PC first, uh, so we can go to Preferences, Game Keys and Controls. And then you can, if you have a controller plugged in, I don't right now, uh, it should be in the drop down menu. You would click the enable and you can change all of your button settings here. Um, now I couldn't figure it out with my PS3 controller so I just stuck with uh, using the keyboard. But once you have everything configured for your buttons, go ahead and click OK. 
Um, if you want to, you can video rendering. Uh, the only thing I would recommend if you're going to change anything would be your resolution. I'm just going to keep mine 1024 768, but you could change it to whatever options that you have, whatever you prefer. And then you would click OK. And then we'll click File, Exit. So now we're ready to launch HyperPC. First thing we want to do is hit tab and we're going to go to emulators and you will now have a future pinball. So for the exit hotkey, um, this is set up for 360 and PS3 controllers to start and select. Um, if you're using a different controller, just go ahead and um, press enter and then press start and select on your controller. That'll be your exit hotkey. Next thing you're going to want to do is come down to Generate Collection ROM List. So I have one table installed. So there's my one table. I wrote one collection. And we'll go back to the main menu. And you'll see here, we now have Future Pinball. Um, mine obviously is running choppy because my laptop's not the greatest. And here I don't have any artwork, uh, but here's Road Girls, so I'll launch it. Um, so, I don't know if Future Pinball always takes a long time to load tables, or if it's just, you know, the performance of my laptop. Uh, but if I had to wait this long, well, I'm recording, so it takes extra long. Uh, but even when I'm not recording, it just takes too long to load a table. Uh, when I, I, I just prefer Pinball FX2, but that's a personal preference. That's totally up to you guys um, which one you prefer I'm sure they both have their pros and cons uh, in comparison but um, this is going to take quite some time to load and I am going to load it on the video to show you that it, it, it really does work um, straight out of HyperPi PC And this does take some time. Now it doesn't usually take this long, like I said. It's, it's most likely because I'm recording um, why it's taking so long. And then once it does load, it loads the tables or, or table that you've selected. Um, <clears throat> this does work straight out of the gate. I have installed it, figured it out, and then reversed uh, to create the add-on pack, deleted everything in my Hyper PC, and then reinstalled just my add-on pack, as you just saw, uh, to make sure it works. So this will work for you guys running HyperPi PC. Uh, and there you go. So there it is running. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and again, this was a patron request, and anyone that wants to support me on Patreon, I would really appreciate that, uh, it'll help me grow my channel, uh, this is getting loud, so uh, I'll just say uh, thanks for watching guys, and have a good day.